Hi there and welcome to this video. My name is Sam from samnuku.com and I want to thank you for stopping by. So in this video we're actually going to discuss how to create a customized um, opt-in form that you can use in your website to um, to attract um, more leads um, and prospects for your business. So all this basically is is how to actually create the form. We will talk in other videos further about um, everything else that goes into it. So, if you basically with with Get Responses, what I use for my email marketing campaigns, and it is what I'm going to use to create my opt-in forms as well. Um, for now, it's it's great because it's actually part of your your Get Response membership, um, and you can create um, forms that are actually pretty good, and you can automatically automatically link them to the specific list that you want that specific subscriber to go to, and that makes it really, really simple, right? So the first thing you obviously do is you go to Get Response, and you click on the Login button. For those of you who aren't with Get Response, your email provider will provide something pretty similar, and if you don't, then I suggest you get on board with Get Response. Uh, there'll be a link just below this video for you to go ahead and join, and I thank you for that. And so this is basically the Get Response dashboard. This is where everything starts, right? It's the hub. So you can see right here it says Forms. Manage forms is basically where you go to see all the forms that you've already created. Um, or you could click on create form if you wanted to go ahead and create a new one. It'll automatically bring up the list builder wizard. Don't worry about the fancy name. All it basically is is a, a starting point for you to go ahead and create um, your list, um, your opt-in form. Uh, so look, there are, there are a number of different templates that you can actually choose from. As you can see here, depending on what your theme is, your niche is, um, you know uh, what colors you're choosing to, to build your brand on um, whether you want something to stand out or blend in um, I think standing out is a better way to go about doing it but like you can see there's a there's a ton of stuff here that you can actually choose from um, and so really one one way or another it doesn't really matter um, ultimately because as long as you follow the points in the blog post and in the in the, and in the um, ensuing videos you'll you'll see for yourself um, what exactly it is that you need to do and not do okay so look I'm just gonna pick this one uh, simply because I went to the movies the other day so the popcorns a little bit appealing to me right now and once that actually loads we will go about editing um, whatever it is that we want to edit okay so you can see here it's a very very simple form um, and that is and that is there for a very specific reason um, get response for a, um, a big company and, and they know what it what actually um, uh, works in terms of you creating an opt-in form. Um, this this form was obviously all about feedback, um, which makes sense with the with the popcorn that you see right here. Um, chances, are, there you go. Tell us why you deserve to win two tickets to our new movie. So, um, if you're running a um, uh, a, a theater, obviously this would be something gr a great opt-in form to put on your website because a lot of people would put in their email addresses so that they can get a movie uh, uh, or two free tickets to a movie um, with simple feedback. Um, and obviously they they submit a legit email address too because they'd want the opportunity to win. And so, let's say for example that this is the form that you're choosing to go ahead with. All you'd basically do is go up here and click save and publish, right? Um, we will go into that a little bit further later because right now we want to edit a few things. Um, but yeah, so once you save and edit, it actually gives you a code that you can put onto your um, blog posts and blog uh, blog pages um, basically anywhere you want um, <clears throat> and so that's basically that's how simple it can actually be you find something that you like um, you bring it over here you you edit whatever it is that you want to edit save and publish it literally takes minutes um, so let's just say we wanted to alter this you know we wanted to make it a little bit better uh, or let's say that we wanted to customize it to our popcorn selling business okay I, I don't know where that came from um, I'm just kind of spitballing here with you guys. So, what we basically want to do is click here, highlight the whole thing, right, and just go backspace or delete. Of course, it won't let me do that. So, let's try this again. There we go. So let's say, for example, we're going to be giving away um, free popcorn, and the only way to do that is to ask for a email address and a name, to which we're going to send um, the uh, the confirmation email. And once they confirm, we're going to send them some free popcorn. Okay. So um, enter your name and email address below for free. 
corn. Okay, so obviously that doesn't fit very well. So what we want to do is we want to click on the box, and we want to make that a little bit bigger so that all the words show up. There they are. All right, and all we're basically doing is clicking and dragging, uh, dragging and dropping this form. Now I quite like these these lineup forms because this here tells me that it's right in in alignment with the um, submit button, which I quite like as well. Um, that's more just a personal preference than a science of of, of building opt-in forms. <clears throat> what I'm actually going to do as well is move this over here so that we can line that up as it because it, it looked quite nice with the black in the background highlighting the the free popcorn part um, we always want to highlight our benefits so that they stand out very very nicely to the people that we're trying to attract so and then the other thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight the free popcorn part and come over here this is basically where we edit the style where we edit the layout and and add a field which we will get to a little bit later for now we just want to bold the free popcorn part because then we want to put the black behind it to make the white really really stand out um, so moving this along again so we can have it aligned with the submit button we want to make this a little bit bigger so that it actually fits behind the free popcorn because remember we've made the, the text a bit bigger there you go I think that actually looks pretty good um, with you know grant with this obviously standing out a little bit probably a little bit too much put in alignment with the box there you go it looks pretty good free popcorn so email address great um, and we, we we're not asking for feedback so we're going to delete that box and we actually did say name first and then email address below for free popcorn so we're gonna bring this form down here and then we are going to add a name field. So all you need to do is go add a field, right? Remember we spoke about these three different boxes uh, earlier. So you, you click and drag right onto where you want it. And like I said, I, I like it aligning it in that with with uh, whatever it is that's actually below it. So um, the boxes do actually look a bit out of uh, proportion, don't they? I mean, they don't they don't look as big as they probably should be, um, but that's fine. Um, it's not really that big of a deal. Um, it, with, when it comes to opt-in opt-in forms um, that that includes boxes and pages the more important thing is what's actually on the page not necessarily um, you know how it's formatted um, especially when it comes to free giveaways but we'll, we'll discuss that in another blog post okay little teaser there to, to keep your eye out on the blog in the future um, and the videos as well so we're obviously giving away free popcorn so we'd love for the popcorn to stand out a little bit more so if we just pop this over here that looks pretty good if you ask me so if we want to see what this actually looks like in action let's just go um, save and publish and see what it's like then what I'm going to do is go to my blog and I'm going to bring up a form that I am going to edit uh, sorry a blog post that I'm going to edit and let's just create a new one okay and I'm going to show you guys how this actually works. So this is the code here that you can um, that you use for yourself. I like to double, triple click it just to make sure because I've single clicked it before and it hasn't come. Um, you can also uh, put this. Uh, you can click this option. I never click this option. Um, or you can click uh, my web designer will install. If you've got a web designer, that's great. Um, I don't. I I prefer to do things myself. Um, even though um, eventually that's the way that I will head. So once you create your new blog post, let's just say for example you've got um, content here galore, free popcorn below, and then you know people get to the bottom of the blog post and you edit and you put in the code. You don't actually put it here. You see these two different tabs here. So this is visual and this is text so when it comes to visual it's what you actually type what you actually input it's all there um, when it comes to text text is what the code is all about okay so what you want to do is you want to go to the end of where it basically stopped or uh, what I like to do is go to the end of the last thing typed and control V or you know right click and paste okay and that's going to bring the text up as you can see here um, and if you want to go ahead and preview it it will show you exactly what you've just created there you go there's our form now content remember how we went just after the free pop free um, free popcorn um, text that we wrote over here you guys can see back here okay so we went straight after that yeah 
and that's why you can see here there's no space in between the words and the form um, and that's how I prefer to do it I've tried other ways and it's kind of hit and miss sometimes the, for the forms work sometimes they don't um, and m me personally I prefer to go with what's definitely going to happen okay as opposed to what might possibly happen so that's basically it for this this is how you create an opt-in form using get response um, and like I said any other email marketing platform out there will also show you um, pretty much the same thing on on how to do it on on their um, platform right uh, but it's essentially the same sort of thing you can keep it you really can keep it this simple and get um get results from it you know I've, I've got majority of my opt-ins from from the forms that I've created myself um, and some that were custom made um, which looked pretty good um, to me and, and I will show you um, in another video how to go about creating that and why it is that those actually stood out so well and why I think you should take them into consideration when creating alternate opt-in forms okay if you don't know what that topic is go ahead and read the blog post um, we'll submit a question and I will go ahead and answer that for you and hey look if you like this video please do go please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel you know connect with me on my blog by asking questions if you have any questions at all whether it be my blog um, my Google Plus Twitter uh, LinkedIn you know YouTube please go ahead and ask the question because I will most definitely answer you as soon as I possibly can um, and more importantly look if you if you really enjoyed this content do please share it on your social media platforms um, so that anyone that you know that is involved in this internet marketing game or trying to build a, a legit business online um, can actually consume the content and benefit from it as well just as much as you have okay so look I thank you very much for your time and we will see you in the next video